Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day. Just wanted to take a few minutes to talk about the 2017 Ford F-150 Raptor. Those of you who have seen it, you'll remember it. It looks amazing. Now the old Raptor looked good, this one so much better. If you've only seen pictures of it, go and check it out in person wherever or whenever you can. You won't be disappointed. Now, a few things that we know about this new Raptor. It's going to be released later this year. Uh, so it's going to be fall 2016 when sales start happening. So probably about another seven or eight months away. Uh, it's probably when I'm going to start seeing it be delivered. Uh, shame it's so long. I've been teased with it for a couple of years now. And I just can't wait to test one out, get my hands on one. In fact, I'm even thinking about tra trading in this Cayman S and getting a Raptor. It says something. Now, also, it's going to handle much better off-road. Being 500 pounds lighter, that's going to be a good start. But also, they got a new four-wheel drive transfer case in there as well. Also, upgraded the Fox Racing shocks as well. They're now a three-inch uh, Fox Racing shock. Also, uh, variable damping rates on them as well on each corner. And also, the new engine, 3.5 V6 EcoBoost. Now, that's no 6.2 V8, which sounded amazing and really got that thing going but this one even more power even more uh foot pound of torque as well it's, it's gonna get shifting now we'll see how it sounds um i'm sure it won't be anything like the v8 but i'm sure they'll still make it sound just as good as they possibly can also that engine's directly fuel injected as well this time uh mated to a, a 10 speed automatic now 10 speeds that's a lot of gears interesting to see how that works the most gears that i've ever owned is a eight speed in the bmw x6 worked okay in that vehicle interesting to see how it works with an extra two in a raptor um not entirely wild about that part but we'll see how that goes i'm sure that they've uh, done lots of tests and make sure it it works just the way in which we're gonna want it to also now offered in a super crew cab as well so for those of you with families want to fit a bit more in the back you can have a bit more room bit bigger doors as well uh, so good to see that also uh, bf goodrich tires they work great before they're going to work great now i'm sure and uh, they developed especially for the raptor uh, also uh, ford performance going to offer a beadlock conversion kit as well so you'll be able to uh, check that out in the ford performance catalog order it in and they can install it right at the dealership for you anyway that's a few uh, of the uh, facts about the uh, new Raptor. My personal thoughts and opinions, I can't wait for it. You know, I, I've checked it out in person. It, it looks amazing. I'm sure it will sound good, even if it's not quite as good as the old V8. I, I really like the vehicle. I think it will sell really well. Now, uh, in terms of being able to get hands on one, I think it'd be very difficult. It said that uh, Ford they're gonna really try and push it to the old uh, Raptor owners uh, before trying to acquire new ones. They kind of don't want to lose uh, that business right there to competitors. But honestly, competitors, they're, they're few and far between. There's really not too many that can really compete uh, right now with the Raptor. Anyway, hope you all had a great day. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions down the bottom. And also please subscribe. And uh, let me know what other vehicles you'd like my thoughts, opinions on. Okay, have a great day. Thanks. Drive safe.